Here we go, folks. People dream of this moment. This is day three of the Mr. Crappie Invitational. It doesn't get any bigger than this. Folks, we have nowhere to go but up, and we are looking forward to this fantastic experience. Stick with me. We're going to take you all the way to the show, to the stage, and let me tell you, it's just a great experience all around. Please do me a favor. If you like this type of content, subscribe to 3 Pound Fishing. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram. Folks, buckle up. It's going to be a great video. Thanks for watching 3 Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies. We need something special to happen today. We're heading into the fog again. Ooh, nice and easy. We'll take it nice and easy. And $80,000 weigh-in is at uh, 3 o'clock at the expo, and we actually have to be back early today at 2 o'clock at the boat ramp. So that's that's roughly about an hour and a half less of fishing today than any of the other days. But because of time constraints and making sure they're on time there, we have to do it. We're taking a motorcade to the uh, expo, so that should be awesome. So it's definitely different starting a tournament day knowing that you've already cashed a check, without a doubt. Does it make me complacent? It makes me only want to improve on our current position. But I gotta tell you, it was a definitely a different vibe on this particular day. Now we're running into that fog. I'm pointing that arrow to right now. Um, it looks really nice on this drive up, but let me tell you. All right, another sketchy ride. <laughs> Those were beautiful scenes that you saw, but you didn't see after that how it got really bad. But Either way, as you can tell around us, we plan on staying here until we catch our seventh fish. Kind of an odd uh, deal, but we think we can get our seventh fish right here and then call up from there. <laughs> I'll tell you what, we're excited. We got nowhere to go but up, in my opinion. That's right. So we're out here to have fun and uh, it's just another day of fishing for us. That's how we're gonna, that's the way we've been doing it every day. It's like we're on our home lake at Egypt and doing our thing. So yeah, our plan is to stay in this location, get our seven fish, then start calling up from there. It's kind of funny how things happen as we've progressed through this tournament. Our number two spot has become our number one spot, and uh, there's just a lot of fish here, and uh, at different different depths, and so you have a lot of options here. So our plan is to get our seven fish, and then if fish are still biting and everything's still good here, we'll stay here all day if we have to, but we have some spots in Long Creek that we'd like to visit at least once, once during this day. Now this day is cut short, um, probably more than an hour and a half, probably closer to two hours, two and a half hours. So it's going to be interesting how the vibe kind of moves us through the day. There's definitely a, a sense that the day is going to be uh, much quicker and a lot of activities coming up later in the day once we hit the stage. need seven of those to get out of here we want better than that but seven of those good job good fish hey that's a that's a nice fish right there number two of the day that's a that's above average fish 11 incher. We'll take them. So today's forecast is going to be very foggy. Actually, a high of 65. Very cold this morning, roughly around 40. We should be shedding these in the next. I can see the sun coming through the, the fog. Ah. 
that. Nice. Woo! <laughs> Another fish. Probably only 11 incher, but we like them. We'll take seven of these right now. Yeah. Right now. Right now. <laughs> That's it. Right now, we'll take seven of them. Good start. This start was good. This was about the average start we were having pretty much every day. I mean, we had a lot of confidence at this point. As long as we got our seven fish in, they were all about 11 inches. Um, we figured that we would at least catch one to three larger fish that was going to pull us up in uh, in terms of position. But I'll tell you, this lake is just a ton of 0.84s, uh, 11 inches, and we were experiencing it right now. But still, we're keeping it light. We're having fun. It's just another day of fishing on the lake right now for us. Measure him out. Oh, yeah. That's number five, and that's an 11 incher. Here's number seven. Yep. Oh yeah. It is uh, 9.20. So that's probably about an hour. Well, I can tell you, because we've been filming ever since. Uh, so that's an hour and 30 minutes. Seven fish in the bucket, mostly 11 inches. So we still have. All right, folks, just so that I don't make this video an extremely long video, um, I'm going to stop the the actual catches from there. These are, these are some catches that we had going on. Now, on this particular day, we caught a ton of fish, just an absolute ton of fish, and we stayed with the points that we actually had planned on during the day. We usually don't defer too far from our plan, and uh, we stuck with it. We caught a ton of fish. So I'm about to bring you to the festivities. The, the first thing that we do is actually a, a motorcade to the actual event, fantastic. Meeting all the anglers, fantastic. Just a great experience. Hang tight, this is gonna be great. All right, folks, we're done. That is a wrap. We didn't uh, get the number that we wanted to today. There's, it's no doubt about that, it'll be our lowest number, but I'll tell you what, we had a great time. We're thankful to be in uh, on day three of this event. We're still gonna cash a check and uh, that's not the most important thing, but we competed and that's that's awesome. We gave 110%, me and Marcus, and, uh, and we had some fun experiences throughout the week. I, we can't wait to share that on a live feed. Hopefully, I, I'm assuming that live feed will happen before this video is actually posted, but um, we're gonna take you to the live, uh, the weigh-in process at the expo. I'm excited for that. Yeah, so you're gonna come along for the ride and uh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, so without a doubt, this is a very electric uh, vibe. Definitely a different vibe than a regular tournament. Um, it's just exciting knowing that we're about to go on stage. We know that there's a lot of people at the expo, the crappie expo, and uh, these are all the anglers coming off the water. And uh, it was just a, it was just a very great, positive experience. We didn't have a great day. We caught a ton of fish. We knew our weight was going to be low, but at the same time, just being there and experiencing all of this was uh, definitely a great vibe. 45, 46. <laughs> so obviously the motorcade was awesome. Just a great experience. Took the long way into Branson and uh, just a great time. And this is actually the meeting prior to us going into the Crappie Expo outside the uh, 
convention center, just kind of getting instructions, what's expected, where we're going, how we're getting in there. So, um, but uh, also a great time just to talk to other anglers. All right, folks. No water in the bags. Here we go. Here, I did. Here. Well, I need. I'll probably need one hand. <laughs> I don't think they're in a rush for us. Here we go. Walking, walking. Let's go. Giving away some hats. There. Bam. We're waiting on another Yukon. Another. So what's great about this event is that Wally Marshall really promotes the sponsors. He really wants us to talk about the sponsors, the people that supported us, that are also supporting the Crappie Expo and the Mr. Crappie Invitational. So he gives you your time to talk, and we really do definitely appreciate that. Al, who's next? Put your hands together, folks, for Team Three Pound Fishing, Pat Maviano and Marcus Harrison. Matt Maviano and Marcus Garrison come into today in 20th place with a two-day total of 15.67. To take the lead from Chase Petty and Braxton Tucker, the king of the hill, they are the West Tennessee team. You're going to need 8.43. 8.43. Here we go. Seven fish to limit. 5.91, so not gonna win this thing, but we wanna see some fish pull them out of there. I love it, it's hilarious. A great job, it's Matt Maviano and Marcus Garrison. Move on up the leaderboard. Not enough, not enough for the W today, not enough for the win, but um, it is gonna be a great payday uh, for team three pound fish. Come on up here, guys. Let's talk about a man. I want to plug some social media for you too, man. Three pound fishing, what's that about? Well, if, if you like what you see here at the Crappie Expo, and you want to learn what pros are doing out there, three pound fishing, we put two videos out every week on YouTube. The number three pound fishing, without a doubt. Love that, man. Talk about a Temple Rock Lake. First time here? First time here. Uh, a long, a very long week actually with all the weather, but we learned a lot about your lake. I gotta tell you, we love it. Beautiful lake, house is unbelievable. Uh, yeah, I want to thank Wally Marshall. Uh, incredible event, Wally. I, I know you know that because it is an incredible event. Uh, Branson, fantastic. I've been here a long time ago. We came back. Unbelievable how much it's grown. Uh, we, we want to thank uh, also, I want to thank my wife. We had a long, busy week this week and she took uh, at all of her own shoulders. So I really want to thank her. I want to thank Marcus for fishing with us. Ozark Rods, without a doubt. We love Ozark Rods. They have a three pound fish in the league. American Fish Tree, Jingo Fishing, Cornfield Crappie Gear, and Grizzly Gig. Grizzly Gig was one of the first sponsors I ever had with Three Pound Fishing. They believed in us when we had only very few sponsors. So that's out to me. There you go. Let's hear it for this team. Great turn for them. Matt Maviano and Marcus Garrison. Their week culminates in the top 25. They'll be earning some of that $200,000 payout today. You have it folks we ended up unfortunately in 25th spot but i'll tell you i would not change anything we got the experience of a lifetime and we cashed a check in one of the biggest events well the biggest event ever for crappie fishing we cannot wait to do it again we want to thank our sponsors we want to thank you for watching and we continue to uh we, we plan on continuing to bring you along the, on the road and 
and, and share with you the experiences that we're having on these uh, these trails. It's just it's just a really great time. Do me a favor, folks. It's Christmas time. If you have an interest, I got the beanies. They're back. $15. It doesn't get any better than that. We also have tons of hats at 3poundfishing.com. Check it out. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. We out. Thanks for watching another 3 Pound Fishing episode sponsored by these great companies.